Hey, my name is Matt Crump, and welcome to Meaningful Moments. I um, am beside myself today, so this will be interesting devotion. I, uh, I've been working on fortitude all week, and uh, I thought I've got some pretty interesting information to give everybody. And um, today, everything changes and twists for me, and believe it or not, fortitude totally put to the test. Yep, it's been uh, been an amazing day. Uh, started with the dentist today, uh, for me. Had to get a filling in one of my teeth that cracked. Uh, one of the side effects of cancer and uh, medication, uh, dry mouth, radiation, all that stuff, is um, your teeth can crack. And uh, I already have two of them that have done it. So I had to get one fixed. Uh, after that, take my daughter to uh, the orthodontist, and then I was going to go hang out with a friend and help them with some things in their business. Uh, I stopped at a little store on the way to their shop after my daughter's um, orthodontist appointment, and we went in for 10 minutes, uh, got a couple of things, and uh, as we came back out, we found that my truck was broken into. Windows smashed out. Um, damage to the vehicle, of course, inside and out, and uh, they stole my daughter's things. Uh, and my daughter uh, is, she's an awesome gal, but she likes awesome things, and some of the things she had in there that she saved her money for um, were nice, and uh, there is some value to what was taken, and uh, some money, of course, uh, with that as well, and um, then when we got ready to leave, the door didn't work. It wouldn't stay open or closed. It just would, it was just flopping like a, a hinge. So my daughter had to hold the door all the way home. Uh, there's lots of things that happened today through all of this. And uh, I've had great, great moments since then. <laughs> it's been awesome. Uh, dealing with insurance and window people. Uh, none of that came through, by the way, today. Some of it did, uh, not all of it. And uh, then I went to go work on dinner, because we have guests tonight, uh, so I fixed dinner. Uh, I had to clean the dishes, of course. But then I went out to my shop to work on a guitar, a vintage guitar, about 55 years old. Awesome, exciting, figured I'll spend a few minutes. And I dropped a piece. I can't find it. Yep dropped a piece of a 55-year-old guitar that I'm going to have to try to find a part if I can't find it. Um, so as I'm doing that, the Lord really started talking to me about fortitude, and I was not into it. I was not wanting to listen to him, I'm telling you right now. Uh, came upstairs, wanted to get this video going for you guys today. I was just going to say, I'm just going to put up another devotion that I've already done, and that's it, but can't do it. This is what I'm supposed to do today. You get it raw. This is it. Um, it'll be maybe better. Maybe this is good. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, so I came upstairs to get ready, got mic'd up, get everything ready going on here. Uh, and then I dropped my phone, uh, picked up my phone. And as I was picking up my phone, smashed my head. Yep, smashed my head right over here on my uh, studio desk. And um, it hurts. That's cool. That's uh, all right, because I've got to go to Duke tomorrow. I'm going to uh, the cancer center for them to look at my brain because there's spots on it. So, you know, it's really cool. So that's where I'm at. And something else that drives me nuts today, that's nothing. I got a phone call from a very important friend going through some very difficult times to find out that her 12-year-old has liver cancer. 12. In the midst of all the crap that she's going through. Nothing that I went through today comes close. Nothing. My friends, fortitude is tough. Sometimes, here's the deal. I want to quit sick of it. Yeah. I get the deal. Um, sorry, my battery's dying. I have to hit the button. It's great, right? Battery's dying. So I'm, that's cool. I better, I'm going to be quick with this. So here's the deal. Here's the scripture I found that I want to share with you. It's from uh, 2 Corinthians 
4, 6. All right, I'm going to read it. Sorry for looking away. But for God who said, let light shine out of darkness, has shown in our hearts to give the light of knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus. Okay, now check this out. For God who said, let light shine out of darkness, when there's a bunch of crap, everything is on top of you. Just crap. Well, let the light shine out of darkness. It is shown in our hearts when we let the light shine in the midst of the darkness of the crap, the light shines. And give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus. Two things. Do you look like Jesus in the midst of the darkness? The face of Jesus. It says, in, when it's like, I mean, come on, folks, this is crazy. Now, you know, all my theological friends can come at me and all that stuff, whatever. I'm talking about real life. Check this out. It says to get the glory of God in the face of Jesus. One, he, incredible. <laughs> Nothing I go through compared to him. Talk about fortitude. It's amazing. What can I do right now? What can I do? I got some information that came to me that's, uh, that's, that's mind-blowing. I've got problems happening all around me. I am freaking wore out. I'm sick. <laughs> I'm sick and tired. And then I have a week that I share with you guys about fortitude. And the week ends. Whoa, the, this is Thursday. Check it out. Tomorrow I go to Duke for them to check out my brain. That's amazing, right? Mm. So, when we face those situations, like Jesus did, do we give God all the glory? Do we let them know that Jesus Christ is Lord? That regardless of what we experience, let light shine out of darkness. Oh, I didn't tell you, did I? 2 Corinthians 4, 6. Let light shine. I'm, I'm, I am words I won't share upset. I'm hot and sweaty. I was going to change the stuff. You know what? I said, forget it. This is it. You get the real deal right now. Nasty. And I got to go downstairs because they're waiting on me because I'm cooking dinner with fixing the guitar and cleaning the garage, taping up my, guitar, my car, um, fixing the door because it doesn't work. Taking out the trash, wah, 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 right? Come on. Let the light shine out of darkness. Has shown in our hearts to get the light of the knowledge, the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. I want to look like him. I want to respond like him. I want to experience like him. I want to live like him. It's hard. It's real hard. I'm telling you today that it's hard, but it's possible. I'm mad. I'm angry. I was uh, had a conversation with the Lord just a minute ago, and he laughing. Of course, I hit my. I told you I hit my head. I laughed. I said, "Really? Come on." The rice I cook probably is going to suck. It's going to be hard or something. It's not going to be soft enough. Whatever. I think it'll be all right, but I'm going to stand before the two personal fortitude. And, and if you read what I, I wrote this week in uh, the blog and I talked about in the podcast this week, that uh, fortitude, it was in the podcast, fortitude produces resilience and elasticity and ability to, to stretch and grow. Hmm. I'm a guy with stage four cancer, with friends with cancer. A little kid, 12 years old, told liver cancer. That's stretching. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving in. 
it's okay to be mad. It's okay to have problems. It's okay to not get it. I told the Lord. I, I, I tell you, I'm tell, I promise you, I'm working on a guitar. He knows this. I'm telling the Lord. I'm going to tell him what happened. I'm telling you. I took the piece off. It's called a bridge on the guitar. I took it off. Bridge had some screw mounts. Had two washers. I took it off, laid it to the side. I dropped one thing. I stood up to pick it up, to put the ping there. The washer, gone. Gone! Like Copperfield. <laughs> really? I, I, I was there. I said, all right. Earlier in the day, I dropped a piece outside. I'm a dummy. Dropped it out there. Found it. I have one washer, not two. I'm gonna go back outside and see if I can find the washer. I'm digging around looking for the washer. I'm, I'm scraping through the grass, ants, whatever, all around me and stuff. And I'm like, Lord, this is crazy. I had the washer. Went back in there, put everything down. I said, all right, I get it. That's fine. You want to talk to me about fortitude. And I don't know if he like made the, the washer disappear and tomorrow morning it's going to be there. Probably will. I, I hope it is. Because <laughs> I'm going to have to look for one. Uh, anyway, I think... It's amazing to understand, to be able to have the courage to endure, which produces a resilience in a life of a follower or believer, so that we can give God the glory in the darkness, let the light shine, so then you and me can show the face. When people want to look into what that is, Someone that believes in faith and stretches and grows and doesn't give up. That's looking into the face of Jesus. Right there. The knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. There's lots of ways you can talk about that scripture, but today, I'm telling you what, that's, that really hit my heart. And whatever you're going through, whatever you're enduring, there's a reason it may suck, no doubt. I use that word a lot, sorry. <laughs> um, freaking, I say that too, sorry. Um, it, it may be that, that you're going to face those situations. We all are. We all face them. I can't imagine what my friend is facing today. I can, I can get some of it. I can, I can closely imagine because of some of the things I'm feeling and I'm dealing with. How do you, how do you not quit? You don't. I don't know how things are going to work out for me in my life. I don't know how things are going to work for me with my vehicle, my guitar out there. Dinner downstairs is about to beep, and they're going to open the door and tell me to come downstairs. You might hear it. You keep on going, and that's what I'm doing, and that's why I'm here today. And instead of having another edited, cool little thing, split it up, up do all kinds, of, this is it, what I'm doing today for, for our devotion. And I want you to check out 2 Corinthians 4, 6. And if you've been following throughout the week, it's all been about fortitude. Uh, Monday was the, the magazine. Tuesday was the podcast about fortitude. Uh, Wednesday was the uh, video from my friend Ashley. Fantastic. Talk about fortitude. She's been on the uh, TV channel twice this week because of what she believes. She's painting rocks, and her focus is to give hope to people. You've got to check her out. It's on my YouTube channel for our, our Hope Revealed and hashtag God's Got This. Uh, God's got his moments. Uh, yesterday was the blog. Talked about fortitude. There's a continuation for next week. So check that one out. I don't know if I want to because I don't know if I want to go through this anymore. And then today is our devotion. I usually do all different stuff much shorter. Sorry, this is the longest one I'm going to do. I don't know. And uh, today I'm talking about fortitude because of what God's been doing through me today. I'm, this is Thursday. Obviously, you're going to get this tomorrow on Friday. And then I have to give you a report back uh, tomorrow when you watch this today. Crazy. That um, what I'm going to find out at Duke. Whatever it is. For God who said let light shine out of darkness has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. This is what it is to give the knowledge of the glory to endure and, and not give up when people think you're insane for believing. I believe. 
I won't quit. My friends, I'm telling you, there is one named Jesus Christ that even though life is crazy, because we're all human, we all have to deal with it, but there's different ways to deal. Jesus makes the difference. Somehow he's going to make this work out because Romans 8.28 tells me that, that he works all things, everything, for the good of those who believe, those who trust in the name of Jesus Christ, who are called according to his purpose. It's going to work out. I just don't know how. Sometimes you want to fast forward, right? I get it. I wish this video could just, man, it'd be crazy. Fast forward. Hey, it's perfect. I'm back. Until then, fortitude. Rock it. Be a person of fortitude. Be a person who doesn't give up. Be a person who is resilient. A person who stretches. A person who's elastic. A person who can say, whatever you throw at me, I will not quit. Have you watched the world lately? Have you seen the news? Are you, I'm telling you. Read the Bible. If you haven't had a chance. Uh, there's a thing called eschatology, a big fancy word in the Christian theological world. I had a chance to do that in Bible college. It's, it was killer, but it just means study of the end times. I know, hocus pocus, right, kind of thing. It's been there for thousands of years. Check it out. Old Testament stuff, and there's some things in Ezekiel, Daniel, uh, some stuff in Revelation. You read it all together. Check it out, what's going on. Mind-blowing some stuff in the New Testament. Gosh, I'm way away from today's devotion. All that means is that we are in a time that it's time to live for Jesus. It is time to say, if you're a follower of Christ, be fortitude, courage, strength, be resilient. You got cancer, stage four cancer, they tell you you're going to die. I was told I could die uh, um, in eight months over a year ago. Hi, how you doing? Still here. It's possible. So my friends, I know this is a long one today. And I just had to share my heart. And I want you to feel what I'm feeling a little bit. I hope you do. And I want you to know that you can live for Jesus and, and not... I want to say be hypocritical. Um, not waver in what you know is true regardless of what people say is true. Because that's what absolute truth is. The Bible's absolute truth. It's his word. He says it, that's it. Because I'm told I've got cancer, I can die. Ab that's truth. Absolute truth, Jesus said by his stripes were healed. I was told that the curse was lifted, that I'm now free through Jesus Christ. Cleansed, free, right? That's tr absolute truth, big difference. That's all I can believe. If I die, of cancer, I died believing. I plan on staying. That's the point of fortitude. <laughs> and that's the point of looking like the face of Jesus, looking into the face of Jesus. My friends, you can do that. We need that in the world. You have friends at work, at school, where you go to church. Yeah, they need it there too. Folks don't really know Jesus everywhere. They may say it. Be the face. Be the life. Be the light in the darkness. It's time. Let's stand up and let people know, yeah, God's got this. And because he does, I'm going to live for him. God bless you, my friends. This is a crazy, insane first week, long video. I didn't plan on this. I'm sorry. I really promise you I'm going to get him to like two, three minutes from now on, unless I have some rant like this today. Um, I hope you would share this, please. Subscribe to it. If you think it's horrible and I suck, say it. If you think that it was awesome and great and it touched your heart, please say it. If it really touched your heart, share it with people. Tell them to get involved. I want this message that God's got this to go all over the world. I can't do it unless you get involved and help us. If you go to godsgotthis.love, you can help by being a part of the team. Uh, you'll get information about that. Our Monday magazine I, I talked about, you'll get that by signing up. And then everything that we do, all the resources that we have will be available to you. And I'd love to give you more. There's a bunch of stuff that I'm doing now every day of the week, Monday through Friday, that we do for free for you, for a resource to have hope, stand tall, and be able to say to everyone, yeah, God's got this. This world is lost and